This is the Aldi Easy Home Two Heat Setting 360 Degree Surround Heater. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box. In the box is a very large user's manual with all kinds of information about turn the heater on and don't let it burn anything. I have it plugged into the watt meter so we can see what the uh, wattage is of it. It has a handle over here, as you see, so you can pick it up. There is some sort of tip over switch. You can hear something in there jiggle, which is interesting. I actually just took a look on YouTube before shooting this video, and someone had reviewed a Honeywell branded 360 degree heater that looked remarkably similar, right down to the handle design. Uh, very, very similar to this one. I guess the air is drawn in at the bottom and comes out at the top. The Honeywell one I saw had a metal fan grate there. You have your thermostat, it clicks, manual controls all around, fan low and high, and pretty much you turn it on. So we'll start with fan, and it looks like the light illuminates, but I guess the thermostat has to be turned on. Yep. So this can be used just as a fan. The airflow is minimal that comes out of this because really the fan is sort of just there for it to get the heat out of the unit and into the room. Uh, it's a very, very soft flow of air. Very weak and soft flow of air. Uh, this would not act as what we used to call back in the day a hassock fan. Uh, it's just not uh, anywhere near as powerful as far as that goes. Wattage usage for the fan is 19.2 watts. We'll go ahead and go over to low. It gets warm very quickly. 779, 78 watts might go up or down a little bit from there but about 770 some odd right there so I'm gonna let that cook for just a second as for heat output mm, up to 130 I just saw so depending on where you go it's about around a hundred we could sort of average out it's warm it's a nice soft heat it definitely does come out 360 degrees seems to blow a little bit harder from the front of it but definitely does come out 360 degrees thermostat would shut off at wherever So that seems to work fine. And we'll go over to high. And that is reading 1470 something. 1474. Smells something cooking off. Certainly a lot warmer. Not going to burn yourself holding your hand on there much. It's hot, but it's not, you know, incredibly hot. It, it definitely does what it purports to do. Puts out heat 360 degrees. Take the temp gun. I saw 150. Maybe pointing out the element in there, I saw 200 flash by. Not seemingly getting the greatest results using this gun. There we go. So 180 or so. Battery in this might be getting a little bit low. 
because the display dims down a bit. But it's working. The heater is exactly what it says it's supposed to be. A 360 degree heater. You would place this theoretically in the center of the room and let it run. The heat output is, you know, by the point you hit around here, which is oh, a foot and a half, two feet away, not even, you don't even feel it. But the idea is to get the heat into the room, and it certainly does do that. It's currently running at 1,460-some-odd watts. I don't know exactly what type of heating element is in here. I'd imagine it is probably some sort of ceramic. Tip over switch works. The thing with electric heaters is there's many different styles. There's this, there's the oil filled old school radiator looking ones. There's heater fans, uh, there are um, convection heaters, there are parabolic heaters, uh, so many different ones. And it's not really a function of how many watts or it's good for a small room or a large room. They all use about 1500 watts. This one is 1469 or so that it's reading right now they're all going to output the same amount of heat. Where it outputs that heat is what makes the difference. The oil-filled heater, for example, takes quite a while to warm up, and then once it has warmed all the oil up, it's going to work by convection, where the cooler air running under it will be heated and rise, and that would heat the room. This is a fan-forced heater that goes 360 degrees. Personally, I don't see the need for something like this. And in fact, this isn't even mine. This is my father's. He bought this to shut my mother up because she saw it. And it was just the easiest way out rather than try to argue. So it sat in the box. And it's been sitting in the box for two years. And she probably has forgotten about it. And I had mentioned it to my dad because I had seen it there at his house where I was recently. And uh, I said, yeah, I want to just make a video of it, so here it is. I'm making a video of it, testing it out. It works. It puts out heat 360 degrees. Um, the biggest problem with space heaters, in my opinion, is people use them in areas where they're not really suitable. And what I mean by that is, let's say your living room, okay? Okay. Compare your living room to, let's say, a bedroom. A bedroom is generally a smaller room where you can shut the door, and now you have a box. And if you place this in the center of the room, it's probably going to do pretty well. Keeping it up against a wall, I don't really know, because you don't want the heat really blowing out the wall. It's not hot enough it's going to start a fire, really, and you wouldn't want to keep it right up against it quite honestly. The plastic is definitely hot, but not so hot I can't really touch it. So this is something that would have to be somewhere in the way, somewhere in the middle of the room like that, as opposed to something that could be put, not flush up against the wall, but you know, closer to the wall to help bring heat into the room that way. But the problem is most people will get space heaters to use in their den, their family room, their living room, something like that. And in general, those type of rooms are generally an open floor plan, which means they're open to the kitchen or the dining room or some other area. So when you put this quote-unquote dinky little heater in there, it's never going to warm the room up and you're going to be disappointed with its performance. But that's because of the limitations that we have in the United States at 120 volts, which I'm actually running 118 right now. 
it's a limitation of that is what it is used in something like a bedroom or something this would probably work well except for the fact that your bed is probably in the middle of the room so like I said I don't really see the greatest use for something like this it works for what it is and I'm sure it would certainly output heat into a room but again if you place it in a room that's part of an open floor plan don't expect great performance from any heater forgetting this one entirely from any heater and by the way if you are still interested in looking for a 360 degree heater you will find this in Honeywell you will find this in many other brands they're all the same they're gonna use the same amount of wattage and put out the same amount of BTUs one might be just an inkling quieter than another but other than that they all work the same just buy a cheap one if you are looking for one so once again this was the Aldi Easy Home 360 degree surround heater Aldi products are sold for limited amounts of time once a year so they might get this in have it in the store for a week if they sell out you won't see it again for another year if the product sold well if it didn't sell well you may never see it again so if you do see it you'll probably find at Aldi you'll get a much better price on this than you would even at Walmart and you can pick it up and just be happy with what it does and what it is so I thank you very much for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.